Hi guys! Today, we are sharing with you our recommendations for our top things to do in the beautiful city of Prague. This list will not be in particular order as all that we will mention are equally beautiful and a must to do in the city. We hope that this video will guide you in your sightseeing tour. In our previous videos, we shared some of our favorite parks if you are visiting as a family with kids and our top viewpoints in the city. We will link those videos in the description section and if you have more suggestions, please feel free to leave a message at the comments below. Let's start off the list with the Charles Bridge. Charles Bridge is one of the famous landmarks in Prague. It was previously known as the Stone Bridge or just simply as Prague Bridge. This bridge was the only way of crossing the Valtava River until the year 1841 and served as a link between the Prague Castle and the Old Town. It also made Prague an important trading route between Eastern and Western Europe. As we arrived in the city, the first landmark that we checked out is the Charles Bridge, as it was only a few minutes walk from our hotel apartment. We were amazed on how beautiful it is with the intricate details of the 30 Baroque style statues. Not to mention that the views from the bridge are absolutely stunning. This made an excellent first impression of Prague. Astronomical Clock The Prague Astronomical Clock is the oldest astronomical clock still in operation. It is a medieval astronomical clock and is attached to the Old Town Hall. It is a delight to watch the clock's display from the position of the sun and the moon, the statues of the various Catholic saints, the figure of the skeleton, the Walk of the Apostles, and more. There's an hourly show for this and we recommend for you to be there minutes before to have a better view of this beauty. Also, stay longer after the show for a photo opportunity. The Prague Castle Complex It is the official office of the President of the Czech Republic. The Prague Castle is the largest ancient castle in the world and the most visited site in Prague. We enjoyed the castle complex itself, though we were able to enter most of the sites inside since they were closed during the time of our visit. Our toddler loved running around the big open spaces while we were admiring the beautiful architecture surrounding the complex. Wenceslas Square The square is in the new town of Prague. It is one of the main city squares and a center of business and cultural communities. You will see a lot of establishments such as restaurants and clothing stores along the square. There are also a lot of people walking around. As for us, we enjoyed walking around, having a meal and shopped a little in this square. This square should not be missed when visiting Prague. Let's go! Where? Go home. Horse? Let's go home. <laughs> town Square The Old Town Square is the oldest and most significant square in Prague. It was also known as the Great Square and presently hosts the largest medieval Christmas market and Easter market in Czech Republic. The square is home to the Prague Astronomical Clock, Church of Our Lady Before Time, St. Nicholas Church, the Storch House, and other historical buildings. Uh, we just came down from the tram, and we are in front of the Leaning Tower Dancing House. Dancing House. Not to be missed is a dancing house, which is one of the unique and modern architecture building in Prague. It is set in a fine location by the Valtava River and also known as the Prague Ginger and Fred building. Also, tourists can enjoy the breathtaking panorama of the city at the rooftop restaurant. 
Lesser Town Bridge Tower. The Lesser Town Bridge Tower serves as the entrance to the Mala Strana. Hence, it was also called as the Mala Strana Bridge Tower. This tower is one of the simplest thing to do while crossing the famous Charles Bridge. It will give you a stunning view of the Valtava River, Charles Bridge and the center of Prague. We particularly like this tower as it was not too high that it gives you a detailed picture of the surroundings. You can also see clearly the amount of people crossing the bridge and the location is just very conveniently and easily accessible to the public. Valtava River Cruise The last but not the least is the Valtava River Boat Cruise. The boat cruise is another way of doing a sightseeing tour of the city. Options are available for the boat cruise and all you need to do is research and choose according to your liking. As for us, we opted for an electric boat and we did enjoy a relaxing experience. The tour will give you a different perspective of Prague and it cruises along the Valtava River, the longest river in Czech Republic. Also, it is known as the national river of the country. Though it only covers a part of the river, you will still be mesmerized by the beauty of the scenery. That is it for us in Prague. We truly enjoyed our time in the city and we are looking forward to explore more soon. Stay tuned for our next travel series in the Mediterranean. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to share it, give us a like and comment below. And if you love watching our videos, kindly click that subscribe and bell icon below. Thanks and see you on the next one.